Hi everyone and welcome back again to Woodland Frenchies YouTube channel here and again uh, just like our last video I'm here with Jay with Preferred Frenchies. Hey guys thanks for tuning in. And who is this again? This is Izzy. Um, she is a Isabella New Shade Carrier um, Fluffy Frenchie. So yeah. yeah. So if you haven't watched our video guys go ahead and check it out before we talked about just Fluffy Frenchies along with some really cool other interesting stuff. Um, but yeah, in today's video, we're going to talk more about the exotic French Bulldog colors. And I uh, just kind of get more in, into detail about that, you know, what's hot. You know, there's stuff that you probably been at, haven't heard of that we're going to talk about today that we're still even getting new um, information on uh, that we're trying to stay up on the game about. But yeah, let's get right into it, guys. Um, before we get started, I mean, you know, as far as exotic colors, you know, again, I'm not saying you need to adopt an exotic color Frenchie. Uh, if you like the standard colors, you know, great brindles, creams, you know, fonts, all that, you know, that's great. You know, I don't, we're not making a video about that, but in today's video, we just want to talk about what are the exotic colors and just keep you up to date on what is the hottest thing in the market for Frenchies today. Sound cool? Yeah, <laughs> All right, so let's just start with uh, Isabella, what is Isabella, Isabella J? Kind of give us a rundown of what makes an Isabella Frenchie. Sure. So um, Isabella is when um, it's a mixture of DD, which is blue, mm -hmm. um, and testable chocolate, which is B. Mm -hmm. um, a, and that's what what makes up the general Isabella. So yep. Um, and that's what she is. She is a full Isabella. Mm -hmm. But what makes her special? If you haven't watched the video before, is she is what. Um, she carries one copy of Cocoa, um, mm -hmm. which is um, a you know Isabella New Shade carrier, so mm -hmm. um, which is still super rare and hard to find, and so mm -hmm. she'd be able to have um, the next generation of your New Shades. Yep. So again, what is New Shade? We might as well. So we talked about Isabella, little D, little D, little B, little B. What makes a uh, Isabella New Shade um, Frenchie? Sure. So. Um, and Isabella New Shade Frenchie is when they have all three of those copies. So you have um, DD, you have BB, um, and you have Coco or COCO. Absolutely. Um, they need to have all three of those to be Triple. Isabella New Shade. Um, and then like Izzy back here, she has a copy and a half of tan, which is great. You see those tan points um, on her legs here and it just adds a little bit to the look. So. Mm -hmm. Yep, other than that, we talked about Isabella, New Shade, um, I mean just Lilac, obviously Lilac I'd say the past two years was the exotic color. Now there's plenty of Lilac, but uh, Lilac is Little D, uh, Little D with Coca Cola, which is uh, Little C.O., Little C.O., which I don't know if we would classify that as an exotic color anymore. But absolutely beautiful nonetheless, yeah. I mean it's a great color. So. Yep. Uh, Rojo, I know that's something that's been hot. I personally love Rojo. I love to see a, as chocolate of a Frenchie as possible. Mm -hmm. What makes Rojo? Um, so Rojo is an overloader chocolate. Like you said, it's mm -hmm. just a, a really rich looking chocolate color. Um, and it carries um, testable chocolate and also cocoa. Two copies of each. Yep. And it can have, it can have one copy of blue, um, which, you know, if it would have two copies of blue, it wouldn't obviously have that rich look mm -hmm. to it but you can either have no copies of blue or one copy of blue and still show that rojo through and the ones with 10 points are just those yeah, look those wonder, wonder absolutely wonderful so yeah yep so rojo definitely being exotic color hard to get uh, i think would be really cool if you're looking to refresh you to shoot for that well without a doubt um, something else exotic i mean merle isn't necessarily exotic but when you mix merle i'd say with Isabella, Isabella New Shade, Rojo. I mean, I'd love to see a Rojo Merle. I mean, that would be really cool, oh, yeah. really pop. I, again, I've, on this channel, I've shared chocolate Merles and tans are my favorite color. So a Rojo and tan Merle would be probably my favorite color um, for a Frenchie. But <laughs> Come here, sweetie. <laughs> Get on the runway. Good girl. Right, Simon. So, yeah, I know. You're just in spotlight today. <laughs> Um, yeah, some kind of the newer kind of colors, guys, that are out there that we've been digging in, especially since we're going to a show um, this weekend here in, D in Dallas, and then going to Miami, been connecting, kind of seeing what's out there. Uh, big rope, like it's not a color, but that's kind of a thing. 
you mm -hmm. know that's you could look at too it's nothing i'm really impressed by too much it's cool whatever um, but that's when you have a full rope going across the nose you can see there's kind of a, a dip in the middle there so um, that's something that you can look into guys something cool um is pink what's pink jay uh pink is uh pretty much like an albino dog um mm -hmm. a really light colored rich pink look mm -hmm. um and it's super rare just like i mean just like anything else like you see an albino deer maybe or mm -hmm. um something crazy like that it's just super rare mm -hmm. and um yeah that, that's definitely something that's kind of been coming around that's one of the slowly. hotter things definitely more rare than a full fluffy right now is oh, pink yeah. so will that take off um i could see pink, take, pink taking off for sure especially with how rare it is i think albino an albino looking um, dog is sweet Obviously, health-wise, you know, we gotta we gotta see what all that's about. I'm sure it's fine, um, but uh, yeah, I'd say pink is something to look into. Uh, other thing we've been looking into is the curly jean. Mm -hmm. You know, with the fluffies, you know, they have the long, long hair jeans. So curly is something else that's been tested. It is out there. <laughs> yeah. We don't know if it's gonna be anything or if it's for sure um, tested, but. I have, we have heard in the talks there's curly out there, something to look into. If Which could, would honestly be pretty cool if you can get a long haired curly Frenchie. Yeah, absolutely. Mean, if it would have curly, we, you could sell, I'm sure, Pups Waku. Yeah, Alpha yeah. Waku with that. I mean, to have a curly Frenchie. Yeah. It'd be sweet. So, I mean, if, if Fluffy takes off, why can't curly? I agree, for mm -hmm. sure. Oh. But it's just one of those things where you never know what's going to, you know, it's fairly even testable at the time. So it's. Mm -hmm this coming around so. but still I mean who would have thought fluffy would have been something you know mm -hmm. so. yep what else is there anything else that we're missing as far as exotic newer stuff coming out that we're looking into I mean not necessarily now the combination of having like a, a pink fluffy is still like that's not even it's i mean there's yeah. one um pink carrier that has fluffy as well as a carrier mm -hmm. that i know of but it's like mm -hmm. a pink fluffy is almost it's not existent of, yeah. so that's again it's just still in the lab still in the science lab figuring that stuff out mm -hmm. so uh, again with izzy they haven't found a stud yet obviously that you talked about shooting for isabella newshig merle which is super rare but if you you know, include if you find something out there that has pink, has uh, curly. I mean, who knows? You know. Mm -hmm. um, and there's all. I mean, we're not locking in right now, and mm -hmm. we're just looking to see what's out there. And yeah. I think that that's just going to be a little bit more beneficial to just going to these shows and being mm -hmm. able to network and see what's available before actually just jumping at something right away. So it's yeah. kind of a, a work in progress, but it'll, yeah. be, it'll be worth it. So and I think that's probably the best take from this video, guys. If you breed French Bulldogs or if you're looking to breed French Bulldogs, I mean, confirmation you can tell is huge with preferred and with us. Um, but if you get into these exotic colors, uh, it's definitely something you want to do your research on first. You don't just want to, oh, my buddy here, he has this sweet, cool dog, you know, let's breed it to that, you know, like, no, do your research, go to shows, network, I mean, mm -hmm. um, that's, you know, we just found out, some of the stuff we just talked about today, we just found out recently, and, I mean, people probably knew, knew about it, but, I mean, we're in the Frenchie game, we just find out about this stuff, so, um, it's fun, but definitely, um, hopefully today's video, talking about exotic colors, and probably stuff you haven't even heard about, um, has been informative and just kind of give you something more to think about, do more research on, and uh, be on the lookout for some of this crazy stuff coming out. So yeah, that's it about exotic colors and things for Frenchies in today's video, guys. Again, make sure to follow for Frenchies, their socials, all that good stuff will be in the description below. And uh, hopefully we can do some cool content at the shows um, for our Instagrams as well, and you guys kind of see what we're getting into over the next few uh, weekends at Dallas and Miami. So. Hit us up if you guys go to the show shows, we'd love to talk to you and um, yeah, if you are interested in a puppy from Izzy, also I know they have some other cool fluffies, check them out for Frenchies guys. Thanks and have a great day.